And hello again, everyone, and welcome back to The Longest Journey. Now, if you remember from last time, our protagonist, April Ryan, has just returned from the world of Arcadia. She's come back to her homeworld of Stark and talks to Cortez and found out that basically she needs to save the world. Uh, no pressure, though. But she has to go on a date with Zack first, so I'm sure that's going to go well. But anyway... Uh, let's catch it with April and see how the date went and get back to the longest journey. Oh, God. Headache. I didn't really have that much to drink, did I? No, but I did travel through a shift into a parallel universe, which would explain this weird compulsion to curl up into a fetal position and go back to sleep. Not that I'm particularly looking forward to it, but I guess I have to go find that Warren guy Cortez told me about down on Hope Street. And hey, like that's not enough. I have to avoid bumping into Zack today. Last night's... Uh date is not something any of us should be reminded of, and I'm not just talking about the incident with the groping and me kicking him in the groin. Doesn't he get that no means no? No. Yes, yeah, sadly, April, a lot of guys don't get that. So, um, and did you sleep in your clothes last night? Normally you change clothes before you go to bed, so it must have been a rough night. Um, let's head on out, and I'm sure there can be no danger of going out here. Or not. What the fuck was your glitch last night, bitch? I'm sorry? What did you call me? I take you to a top-class club, wine you and dine you, and you slap me in the fucking face. Did you ask yourself why I slapped you, Zack? I don't fucking care. You'll regret fucking with me, bitch. I can promise you that. I'd call you a bastard if I didn't think you'd take it as a compliment. If I wasn't such a fucking nice guy, I'd smash your fucking face in, bitch. You're gonna be so fucking sorry you ever fucked with me, April fucking Ryan. And yeah, I think that carpet F bombing may have just earned this video a mature rating. Um, yeah. I'm sure nothing bad is gonna come out of that tirade. Aren't you? Yeah, me neither. Okay, uh, one odd thing here. The plant here in the foreground is the organic plastic plant. Um, if you have not gotten a leaf from that, I'm not sure how your play along works with my play along. Um, go get a leaf from it right now. I'm not sure if this is the last chance you'll have to pick it up or not, but you, you're going to need that in a bit. So, In the meantime, oops. It's a pretty mural. That's not what I meant to do, but okay. In the meantime, let's head over to the subway and head down to Hope Street and see Matthew Warren. And have these two people been here all night? I mean, they were there yesterday. Okay. Let's head to the subway. Oh look, there's someone here today. That's a subway. What are these? Those are like rail lines, too. And this guy is still here. I swear, this guy has been standing here for three days waiting for the train. It's like... Looks like he's a firefighter outfit or something? I can't really tell. Okay. You'd think they could mix that up a little bit, but... Okay. All right, uh, there's a paper here. I guess we need to read it. That stapler is still up there. We're going to Hope Street, which is there. Oh, this looks like a really nice place. She's gone. I think he's in trouble. Looks like he knows how to use that steel pipe. Yeah, 
We're going down to the church. It's down here at the far end. So. See cathedral. There. This might go talk to the guys. The steel pipe. Or the graffiti. Or the druggie. Or the... Where did you go, April? There we go. The only place we can really go in here is the confessionals. Good morning. I'm Father Raoul. You're not a Hope Street regular, are you? I haven't seen you here before. I don't visit the neighborhood very often, no. And why should you? It's not a very nice place. This cathedral is all there's left of the hope in Hope Street. I'm sorry to hear that, Father. So am I. But we cope. We cope. How may I be of assistance? Do you know a boy named Warren Hughes? As a matter of fact, I do. The Hugheses were regulars before they traveled to the colonies. Poor Warren was left an orphan by his family. I haven't seen him for years. Where does Warren live? I'm not sure he lives anywhere. But he does belong to a Hope Street gang, the Razor Blades, I believe. They seem to conjugate just down the street in Building 87. Be careful, though. Although they're far from the worst gang around here, they're not a particularly friendly lot, and they don't care for strangers. I can take care of myself. <laughs> I don't doubt that. Still, be careful. Yeah, I'm not sure that um, you're quite as competent down here as you think you are, Abel. Thank you, Father. Please come by again if you're ever in the neighborhood. And I'm sorry, but the goatee on that priest just bothers me to no end. It's a baby angel. A cherub? He's got a red robe wrapped around his posterior, and he looks to be in a hurry. I can't remember reading about this particular incident in the Bible. Maybe it was in the, um, the sequel? Nah. That came out only five years ago, and this wall painting looks a lot older than that. Okay, I find it amusing that they published a sequel to the Bible around the year 2200, but... Now, Building 87 just happened to be across the street from us. Well, look, flying car. And, um, but we couldn't go there until we went to the cathedral first. You can just see the cathedral down here. See, it's like Notre Dame or something. Let's talk to this kid. Can I talk to you for a minute? You know where I can find a kid named Warren Hughes? Who's asking? Um, I am. Warren Hughes. Never heard of him. What's your name? What's yours? April Ryan. Lucky you. All right, well, I guess you can't help me. Nope. Nobody can. What do you mean? A nice, pretty girl like you in a neighborhood like this, asking all the wrong questions. You're heading for some serious trouble, you know. I can take care of myself. Mm-hmm. Sure you can. The thing is, there are four guys waiting downstairs for you to come back out, and they can take care of themselves real good. I'm not looking for trouble. Trouble found you, girl. Yeah, this probably wasn't the best idea, April, but... What do you want from me? I should have asked you the same question, except I don't care. You should have thought twice before coming after me. After you? I didn't come... So you're Warren. What, like you didn't know? No. Cortez told me your name, where to find you, but... Hold on. Cortez? Old Spanish talking dude. Real crazy in the head? That's a fair description, yeah. Shit. You're not a cop. Social services? Corporate? No, no, I'm a... a friend of Cortez. He said to look you up. I haven't seen Cortez in a while. Not since before... So what does Senior Cortez want with me? We need some help. What kind of help? Look, I gotta stay incognito most of the time now that corporates and cops are stepping up their search for us. I can't go risking my ass for nobody. Not even Cortez. That's alright, I just need some information on a group called the Vanguard, and their leader, Jacob McAllen. Oh, sorry. Never heard of those guys. You wouldn't have. They keep to themselves, and they got some kind of cover operation going, but I don't know what it is. You want 
Need to find out? All right, here's the thing. I got a friend who might be able to help you out. Great. Hold on. Before I use up my favors with him, I need you to do me a favor in return. Probably even help yourself out at the same time. Fair enough. What do I have to do? Easy. Break into the Newport Police Department computer archives. Get me some information on my family. Destroy my criminal record and get the hell out of there. Preferably alive. That sounds like it's more than one thing, Warren. That's at least two, if not four, but we'll go with it. You want me to risk my life for a personal favor? If you don't do this for me, I won't help you out. Besides, there's probably some information on the uh, Vanguards, was it? In the archives. And that information will be valuable to my friend if he's going to help you out. And we may as well do it because the game's not going to advance very much if we don't. I'll do it. Smart decision. So here's the thing. My dad doped out on raps and seduced by commercials. Sold out our whole family to the shiny happy colonization program for a lifetime supply of the big R. The rapture. He neglected to ask his lovely wife and children, and the corpus didn't care. One day they came to pick up my mom, my sister, and me. I got away though, snuck out the window, and I spent the next two weeks in a dumpster. And your family? And that's just it. I don't know. Off to the colonies, of course, but which one? I don't know. Sometimes they split up families too. You know, they don't tell you that in their ads. I don't give a shit about my dad, and, and my mom, she's tough. She can take care of herself, but I want my sister back. We were real tight. I'm not gonna let him use her in the mines and factories out there. So, you want me to find out where they took your sister? That's it. You're catching on. You do that for me, and delete my criminal record at the same time and get them damn corporates off my ass. I'll give you all the help you need. Where's the police station? Take the subway to Metro West. You'll come out on what they call Cop Street. You'll see the NPD headquarters down the block. You can't miss it. All right. The ping tells us that we got what we needed to know. I'd better get going. Be cool, eh? And yeah, maybe we were a little fast in saying that Stark wasn't quite so bad last time. Yeah, it sounds like they've got their own set of problems here. A little odd that the off-world colonies are based, they're basically shanghaiing people to them, but this guy's back. Okay. Now, where we want to go is Metro West, because remember that's where they said the station was. Now, there's all kinds of things here that we can look at. The thing they just went by is a garbage truck, basically. Another unfortunate victim of the Anglo-Pacific Wars of the 90s. Uh, which 90s? 2190s, I guess. I do all my grocery shopping at T-Rex. Not that their food is particularly good, nor their price is particularly low. I just love their ads. They're tray cool. Especially the one where they built an actual sized robot dinosaur and sent it out to mangle a competing chain of grocery stores. For real. I don't know if anybody got hurt, but man, that campaign kicked ass. Yeah, I'd probably shop at a grocery store that would um, send actual robot dinosaurs after other grocery stores as well. It's an automated garbage truck. They crisscross the town emptying containers and running people over. Yeah, and we'll decide which one of those is the actual priority later. Let's head on down to the police it's station. Automated garbage ah, we just did that. I keep clicking that thing when it walks by because there's so many out them here. Let's head down to the police station. We interrupt this game for important news. This is Lucinda Carlisle reporting live from just outside the Metro Precinct police station and I bring you today a senseless and tragic display of technology gone wrong. In the carnage you see behind me, medical drones are digging through the rubble of a crashed shuttle for the remains of over 100 people who lost their lives today in an accident that could and should have been prevented. Only hours ago, a brave new World Airlines shuttle carrying starry-eyed colonists to the Metro Tower experienced an engine failure and came roaring down on this street without warning, crushing three cars and burying nine innocent pedestrians and two would-be carjackers. The cause of this human tragedy? As of yet, there is no official report. We can only speculate, and speculate we will. Was the pilot drunk? Was he hopped up on Amethyn? 
Was someone aboard carrying a bomb? Did the manufacturers of the shuttle, Monster Limited, skimp on a part and import it from a bootleg factory in Germany? The truth could be any or all of the above. But whoever is responsible, and whatever the punishment, it won't bring any of those bloodied, mangled corpses to life. It won't bring Teresa Roseman, mother of three, back to her husband, Marty. That loss is forever, and a huge cash settlement can only ease the pain. It can never remove it altogether. Only expensive brain surgery or personality modification through proprietary drugs can do that. The exact death count is still under wraps, and work will continue throughout the day to identify the thousands of body parts that are being picked one by one from the twisted wreckage of BMWA Shuttle 709. What repercussions will this accident have on our city? Probably none. You fly a shuttle, you take your chances. This is Lucinda Carlisle, reporting live for the Metro Channel Action News. Back to you, Lisa and Dan. Are we clear? How did I do? Uh-huh. And what are the ratings? Five million? That's it? Five million? Jesus, we've lost out to reruns of Gillian's Island? What the fuck, Gregory? Why the hell did you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give me any of that shit. You were the one who said this would broaden my audience. I, I, I should have stuck with the game shows. Jesus! Okay, I actually played all that because that's actually one of the funniest parts of the whole game. Um, I, I really... My favorite part is where April goes out there and starts mugging for the camera behind it, just like you always see people in the news during reports, but yeah, that was just sort of this weird aside in the middle of the game. More world building, I suppose. Alright. Now, there's a couple of things here. The police station is right here. And normally you would go in there. I have a problem. My game crashes to desktop every time I go in the police station there. I get a you know, performed illegal operation and will be shut down type message. Um, so I can't go in that way. Now, fortunately, there's a way around this. If I had gone in there, and I had to look this up online myself to see how it worked, if I go in there, there's a policeman in there who will stop me and make me leave. So there's another way to get into the, game, into the police station. The game actually makes you find an alternate way in, but the alternate method to go in only works once. So you need to make sure that you do everything you need to do before you leave, before we leave this police station. So just warning you that you get one shot at this. If you um, did it differently, you know, if you didn't have the same problems I did, you could get away with it, but okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this street. It says Calavera Crossing MCW, and the street ID number is 0092. Now we have to look at this roadblock here. And that and that are two different things. It's not really obvious from the screenshot here for some reason. It's your garden variety robotic roadblock. You see them all over this pothole infested town. There's a small control panel on it. The display reads 3018. So we have to, for no readily apparent reason, re oops, reprogram the roadblock. Perhaps if I try entering the idea of the intersecting street, the roadblock will move. Yeah, it isn't completely clear why we would do that. Apparently, if you went into the police station, the policeman who stops you tells you that the only thing that will come in is um, policemen, prisoners, and garbage. So we now go get in, need to go get into this dumpster. Now, if you remember, Matthew Warren mentioned something about hiding in a dumpster for a while, too. I think that was supposed to be a clue to this. But again, I had some trouble here because, again, game crashing bug. So now we just need to wait here.
Yep. Keep it close to yourself. That was so gross. The things I do to save the world, I mean that smell, that sticky stuff, the way that Ratchet wouldn't let go. Disgusting. Not to mention the fact that I really, truly stink. I don't think this is ever coming off. I'm gonna stink like fish heads and moldy pizza for the rest of my sorry life. Yeah, well, it could have been worse. You could have gone through with your date with Zack. But, okay. We need to get into the police station now. And we're inside, but we need to get back here, which is the archives are. And we have to go through a convoluted process to get there. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, what can I do for you? Where are the archives? The archives? You're not an officer of the law, are you? So what if I'm not? Then you can't go into the back, capiche? Cops only. Besides, half the doors in this building, including that one, are out of order. Nobody's going in, nobody's coming out. And until those overpaid, underworking service guys get off their butts and back to work, that's the way it's gonna stay. Thanks anyway. All right. Now, the people we need to talk to are over here, but we have to do a couple of things first. This is them over here. I'm gonna start by looking at this toolbox. It's a toolbox. Yep. There's a sheet of paper in here. And we just picked up a sheet Some of... Some kind of requisition form or work order. Yeah, we just picked up a work order, and what that will tell us is that this is an old petition. Oops, I always do that. This is an old petition. Bokama Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. It's a carbon copy of an old work order. All right. <laughs> now we have to go look at this screen over here. This is a video phone of some kind. Oh, go faster. This phone, 099-12090. All right. And there's also another phone over here. <coughs> this one's actually broken. It's an old vid phone. Ancient, ancient technology. Visuals are so passe. The screen and camera are both out of order, I think. Okay. <coughs> Visuals are passe. What do you use now? Text messages? Oh yeah, you people don't even carry cell phones around. All right, now we need to talk to this guy. We need to talk to the portly fellow, because we need them to open these Hi. doors. What do you want? We're on our lunch break, honey. Why are you guys working? We're on our contractually bound <laughs> lunch break. Uh, huh. Right. But you're not eating. We're done eating, sure. But we're still on our break. Clause 16 of the contract, and I quote, improper digestion may prove detrimental to further work-related activities. End quote. Meaning what? We're letting the corned beef settle, honey. Aren't you supposed to fix the doors? That's right. But instead, you're just... sitting here. That's right. And you're not planning on getting back to work anytime soon? That's right. And you're not bothered by this? That's right. I could say anything, anything at all. That's right. And you just answer... That's right. Well, how's that for productivity? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the, um, no one comes off well in this game. It'd be so nice if you could fix the doors. And it would be so nice if you could go away and leave us alone. <laughs> Is there anything I can do to make you go back to work? No, short of emergency. We ain't moving our asses in the foreseeable future. What constitutes an emergency? Any event accompanied by a specific work order signed in triplicate. What kind of work order? Eh, well, you know. About the work order... Yeah? Which one? You know, for emergencies. You mean the short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits requisition form? Uh, sure. Well, if you were to produce said requisition with the appropriate signatures, we'd be forced to prematurely suspend our lunch break, for tactical reasons, of course. Thus, allowing our scheduled work to be completed. Don't you just love bureaucracy? You what? Never mind. All right. 
we had to go through all of that just to get them to talk to us about the requisition form, even though we're already carrying it. Where do I go to get the requisition form? What form? The requisition form for the short-term tactical suspension of, uh, <laughs> of union member benefits. Any official office for which we perform services. All right. Enjoy your lunch break, guys. With the Sunday overtime we're getting, you betcha, honey. Oh, it's Sunday? I didn't know that. That church was awfully empty for a certain Sunday, wasn't it? All right. Now, there's a whole wall of forms back here, so I bet this person would have a form. Excuse me, ma'am. You again. What do you want now? I need a requisition form number 09042. <laughs> Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. <sighs> Hold on. You have to wonder why this person is willing to go get that for a random person who's walked in off the street. But okay. <laughs> Here you go, miss. Union requisition form number 09042. All right. So now we have our form. right here. We need to go give it to this guy. I better forge ooh, uh fill out this work order first. <coughs> Fix <Fixed. coughs> the damn doors. Sign the commission. There. All right. <coughs> now we're set. What's this? Oh, just a jolly little requisition entitled Short-Term Tactical Suspension of Union Members' Benefits. Say what? <coughs> Lady, do you realize what you've just done? You've... interrupted our lunch break! This is an official work order! It can't be. Wait. 09042. <laughs> this isn't 09042-A, is it? Uh, no. Just plain old 09042-nothing. Ha <laughs> ha! This being Sunday and all, that petition is useless. On public holidays, you need the extension dash A form. Addendum for public holidays. A spin on triple overtime and all. So? So, we're gonna stay here and enjoy our extended break. Thank you very much. Now go away. Yeah. This is... Bureaucracy Games here. I don't know why they think the game is better off for this, but... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? I'm sorry, but I need the 09042-A requisition form addendum as well. The what? The 09042-A? Why the hell didn't you ask me for that one in the first place? Because I'm a cruel bitch and I love torturing you. In fact, I've made it my life's mission to haunt you forever and ever with requests for useless forms and documents. Hmm. Hold on. Yeah, and she apparently accepts that as a reason. I'm sure this whole section is just the entertainment piece of the game, because it's all... humor. Alright, requisition form number 09042-A. And that better be it. Well, it is for now. Of course, we're gonna do something else later. <laughs> Alright. So now we need to give him this one. Okay, now we're set, I hope. Why do you keep bothering us? Don't you have anything better to do? No. No, absolutely not. This is requisition form number 09042-A, the short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits Requisition form with the public holiday addendum. Balls! We've been nailed, George. 
Get your ass off the chair. We're going back to work, thanks to this <coughs> lovely young lady. <laughs> All right. All of that was just an exercise in clicking things. You know, I don't mind puzzles in video games, but make it a puzzle, not just a walk through the dialogue trees until I get what we want. <laughs> All right. Now we need to get these guys away from here. Because you see, the door is still on. You don't open manually. So what we need to do is we need to use this phone to call the other phone. <laughs> Remember, we looked it up earlier. It's this number. <laughs> and then go tell this guy he's got a phone call. Hey, there's a phone call for you. For me? Who is it? I think it might be Union. Out business. of my way, lady! All right. Now we have to get the other guy out of the way. But we have to wait for this guy to get there first. <laughs> That's a weird distortion on his model, I think. But... I can't get to the wires while these guys are working on them. I need to create some kind of distraction. Get them away from the panel. There's a call for you, too, sir. Me? I get no calls ever. Except from my mommy. Is it my mommy? Uh, it could very well be your mommy. Oh. <coughs> Thanks. And now we get this guy away. And I wonder why this guy is standing here all this time when he's obviously talking to a disconnected phone. Okay. The panel is open and some wires are hanging out. Okay. <coughs> it's a toolbox. It's a long shot, but if I try to cross these wires... Voila! I'm so good. Uh, not yet. Hey! You can't go back there! It's a restricted area. I need to distract her, but how? Yeah, this whole ex thing is an exercise in confusion. All right, so now we can look at all these shelves. Let's see. What's the most difficult form to get a hold of? The label on that shelf says, Reporting Indecent or Lewd Behavior by Bingo or BM Personnel, number 31366. <coughs> Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? I'd like that form for complaining about lewd and indecent behavior, please. Number 31366. Hold on. <laughs> All right, and now while she's doing that, we're going to go over here, cross the wires again. And then go through the door. And we're through. All right. I think that's enough for now. We've been doing this for a while, and... We still have most of the police station to get through. So I'm going to call this a break for right now. And when we come back, we will explore the police station and see what information we can find in here on the Vanguard. In the meantime, this is Dennis. I am Tan Staffel, the Paleo Gamer, and I will see you next time.